Well, uh, could be worse. Could be raining. And, uh, folks, it's raining. Otherwise, I would never have said that. It's 40 something degrees. Talmud still practicing. And finally, here we come. They're in pullovers and sweatshirts and all that fun stuff because, well, it's cold, it's raining. I don't know if we're going to get that much of a game in today. I'm telling you, for Time Room Sports Live, kind of an ironic name because we're not going live today. Hello, people. No, they're, they're still going. For now, make sure you don't blow away, fans, because the wind is kicking in. And would you look at that? My pen is all smushed. Well, let's look at Talmadge's lineup. We'll probably only see, like, the top half of the lineup today. Unless the rain goes away. Marley Queen leads off. Then Ashlyn Severns. Then Zoe R Renzel. Then Lexi Gray. Then Jocelyn Saffel. Then Mia Zapolo. Then Emma Garbinski. Sydney Bax. And then Lauren Teeling. And that's it. Well, folks. And they don't say. Good Lord, it's. So darn cold. Emily's playing short. Emma's at second. Kirsten first. Kennedy catching. Paige Kramer third. Ashley on the mound. Kirsten at left. Corinne at center. And Mallory at right. Boy, oh boy, look at that paper. It's all wet. Marley Queen leads off, and we are ready to play. Apparently it was 14 to 12 last game. Here we go. Hornets, Blue Devils. First pitch is a swing and a miss. Great to have you here. Time runs your announcer. It is not the seventh inning, contrary to what that says. It is the first inning, not the zeroth inning. Sorry for shaking. It's kind of cold. That ball got away from Kennedy. I would hop down there, but as you can tell, it's kind of muddy. Nobody out. Ashley Brewster, the sophomore, on the mound. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow anybody off the... Or not mound, oh God, on a circle. This is not baseball, this is softball. It's a circle, not a mound. Two and one. I parked at the middle school. So I'm gonna have a long walk. Two and one pitch. Three one. On deck is Ashwin Severns. Some of these names are kind of familiar from other sports for the Devils, and even here. Three and one. My hands are ice blocks. Here it comes. This one is popped in the air. Foul pitch. Creamer won't get it. Full count. No one out. On a cold, unideal Friday. And the Ashley ready. Here comes her payoff. Swing and a miss. That's a good way to start off the game. The nice swing and a miss. And Fuel Talk stuff over. Severns is the shortstop. Let's see what she has in stock. First pitch. Ball. Four balls, three strikes today for Ashley. I don't know how Kennedy does it in short sleeves because, oh, you guys, it's in the mid 40s. I don't know how Ashley does it in short sleeves as well, 2 0 oh with the count. Well, so far the rain has stopped, but it's cold. We're supposed to be. Three weeks in spring. Two hours right to Paige. She's going to throw down Kirsten two away. Right at the hot corner. Here is Zoe Renzel. No, 
See what Ranzel does. She's at the third baseman. And she wears number four. On the circle, first pitch. Ball, high and away. One and oh, two out. Whoopsies. Are we ready? Here it comes. Ball again. Two all. You can feel some rain. Hopefully it doesn't come down and come down hard. Because it's kind of drizzling right now. I'm making my screen a little wet. I'm making my hands really cold. That one is popped high in the air. Whoa. And it gets stuck in the mud, sort of. Well, fortunately, I'm right there for it. Sure thing. Two to one. Courtney was there to get the ball. Well, I was there, but I tossed it to Courtney with my left hand. Three and one. I'm not left handed. Oxy Gray would be next. Now, are we trying to get out? Get it out. Three and one on the way. And she walked her. That's her first base runner of the game. No need to freak out, folks. Lexi Gray is up, though. She's a catcher. Talmadge beat Aurora earlier in the season. Now, for those that aren't aware, Aurora is a pretty tough softball team. But so are we. First pitch. Strike one. Not a and one. Oh, throw down first. Almost. Almost got Renzel. Here comes the 0-1. In the dirt, runners thinking about going second. Good throw down, safe. Talmadge knocking on the door of an opportunity. Cold Friday night, weather in the mid 40s. Where some rain. Of course, if you've ever played MLB 2K, you know it rains almost once every two games. Strike two, one and two. Of course, they, they stopped making games after the disaster known as MLB 2K13 with David Price on the cover. Here we go, one and two, trying for a strikeout. That one's pop foul, out of play, and hits a tree. Imagine if it got stuck in said tree. Now the rain coming down even harder. One and two. Ashley with the runner at second. The pitch. Ground ball back up the middle for a base hit. Here comes the runner home. Duran throws it a cutoff and it's one. So much for a no hitter. So much for a shutout. Jocelyn Schaffel is up. Schaffel. She's left handed. So the Blue Devils have a two-out rally going on. The first pitch. Strike one. Of course, Ashley has thrown a no-hitter before. That was last year against Midview, albeit five innings. Due to a 10-0 mercy rule call. It's hard to stay warm here. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. Actually looking for a strikeout now. Sorry for the shaking, just that it's it's pretty cold. Not gonna lie. So I apologize for the shaking. 0 and 2 the pitch. Couldn't get her on that. 1 and 2. Should have brought a winter jacket. Well, maybe. Been here for over an hour, so my hands kind of feel a little numb. I might drop this phone if it does, that's bad. Just like that wild pitch is bad, and sends the runner to second. Lexi Gray, who has the lone head of the game, is now at second after the count was once 0 oh, 2, it's now 2 2. The pitch, foul back. Kennedy will get it. 
actually trying to shake off this two out rally and you can see it's kind of a little muddy out there on the field Jang set the pitch ball three three and two Musapolo would be next. Full count after it was 102. Here we go, it's so cold. The payoff. And ball four run goes to third in the process. So a good job there by Saffold, the first baseman. And after no one on two out, it's two on, two out, and one in. Musapola. I wish I had hand warmers. Swing and a miss on one. Rain still coming down out here. Runners at the corners, two out. Actually, ready. Here comes the 1. Strike two, 0 oh 2. Actually trying to limit the damage. Getting set, here it comes. Can't get the strikeout yet. And the runner just took second, by the way. So Sapple at second, Gray at third, two out, one and two. Turn your swings, what the first base coach says, as it's two and two. And throws one, so two. And you're praying that this inning ends, or half inning ends, I ought to say. Talmadge has some good patience, that's for sure. Two, two. Foul back. Make an actually work for these outs. We're at 12 and a half minutes at this video. If you happen to be watching this video at the time, say hi. Because, yeah, no reason. <laughs> say hi to Time Room Sports Live, which is once again kind of ironic because we're not killing live. That one's a sky high pop fly heading out to the road, maybe into the house. That's way out of play. Seventh pitch. Of the at back coming up. Thirteen minute mark. Wind howling out here. Here's a two two. And finally the inning over on a swing and a miss. Well we'll see what the top door has in stock when we return. I'm very envious of you, the viewer, because you're watching this in a warm weather. I was waiting off, then Karen, then Kennedy, then Kirsten, then Ashley, then Emily, then Kirsten, and then Maya, and then Mallory. On the mound, or circle, dear God, how do I louse that up? Me as a pull-up. And once again, if I were one of these girls, I'd have the Donkey Kong rap as my walk-up song. Of course, I stressed that out a lot last year. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and run off. You know, that's her secret. Just run up and slap it, and that's why the corners are playing in. There it is. Runs up, pops it, foul, and fortunately over the head of the third baseman, Renzel. As you can tell, they're all in. Sweatshirt, so I'm in my jacket. Dear Lord, I hope that by the end of this month, the weather is better. And a swing and a liner to left out, sit down for a base hit. That could be trouble. I'm going to go to second base. She might as well stay there. Oh, well, she can burn you in so many different ways. Corinne is up. Kennedy waits on deck. We'll get to her in a minute. So 
So we'll see what comes up here. The pole try to shake off the weight off double. And yeah, the DK rap does have a bad word in it. One attempt, that's gonna be a good execution. Throw down first is in time, but Emma's gonna go third throw down. Woof, she's safe. I sacrificed Brian Kennedy, the Cleveland State Committee is off. Her parents must be. Uh, sure, thanks. Thanks, uh, hold on, folks. Oh, you're fine, thank you. First pitch coming up, folks. Hang in there. It's a ball wall, 1 0. Thank you so much, by the way. I'm at the tying run at third. Can barely feel my hands, so I'm gonna take them. Of course, he said he'll get them at the end of the day. 1 0 is gonna miss for a ball. 2 0. There we go. Much better. Two and all the count. Gang set the pitch so we got the best two one. Of course they're stuck. Kennedy waiting. And on two balls and one strike. She's gonna try bunt and squeeze the tent then it's off her, so that will abandon the bunt attempt, excuse me for one second. She's out, excuse me. Kirsten's up. Kirsten trait. Just got him off. There we go, that's more like it. First pitch. Strike. Only one. Tying run at third, two out. Whoa, sorry about that, folks. Here comes the 01. Ball to the Kati commit. That's in Missouri. Talked to her earlier today about it. Emma's going to Worcester, by the way. 1 1. Swing and a miss. 1 2. Trying to get out of this. Jim, here's a polo, which start off with a leadoff double. One, two, and that might get the running. Nope, ground ball, short throw downs in time. End of one, it is one nothing Blue Devils. We'll be back. Excuse me, we'll be back. 